Or and turning to the latest on Maui happening today, tourists are welcome from Kahana to Kaanapali. KIT 4s Aaron Coogan joins us in studio. And Aaron, the ramped up effort to bolster the local economy, leaving some West Maui residents feeling left behind. Yeah, well, contradictory to the initial multi-phased reopening plan, which identified three distinct stages of gradual reopening, Maui County Mayor Richard Bisson announcing Monday, today's date, the day all of West Maui would be open for business. Now three months since fire ravaged through Lahaina Town, visitor arrivals to the Valley Isle have fallen to their lowest number since February of 2021. In turn, visitor spending has maintained a deficit estimated at around $13 million per day. But as so much uncertainty remains for the thousands of residents still displaced and grieving, concerns regarding additional strain on already limited resources and infrastructure, one that hasn't gone unvoiced. People are just, you know, kind of disappointed. They, they feel like their, their voices aren't heard. I think there were um, 17,000 signatures on the petition. And so it's like, you know, if, if we're saying we need stability in housing and we need child care and it's not in place and you're opening up anyway, then it's why are people still talking because it's not happening. Meanwhile, state and county officials assure their priority remains in keeping West Maui fire victims sheltered and stable. They do, however, say they're optimistic that full reopening will not only begin the economic recovery process, but provide a sense of normalcy into the lives of West Maui residents. Now three weeks from the October 8th date that saw the very first visitors back in areas around Ka'anapali and Napili, Councilmember Paulton says only now are those incoming visitors starting to be felt by the local community. She says while this decision to consolidate the final two reopening stages was one major behind closed doors. She hopes for more transparency with community members moving forward. Reporting live, Aaron Coogan, Kia TV4, Island